it out. Oh, so funny. I was there for a night out. And I, and also I left right after the live auction. I thought, I don't want to stay. I mean, I, you know, I, I love all these people in short doses and I love, you know, yeah. meeting them and talk, chit chatting with them. And then I don't know. I want to get home to my son and husband. So I, poor David, I said to him, like the minute, like, I don't know, the fourth live auction item was Sutton had won something. I was like, okay, bye. And he's like, oh, I'll walk out with you. I feel so bad. You should have stayed no. because you did want to see, you know, you Taylor wanted to Dave. see who was, yeah, Taylor her. Dave. and yeah, her. Paula, a, a, a legend. A Listen, let me, first of all, I had 800 pictures with Paula. Um, no, it, listen, here's, it's like I had Liliana Vasquez on recently entertainment journalist. And one of our conversations was about like, you know, she's like my big pet peeve with like people that do what we do. Entertainment journalists um, are that, you know, when they're on the carpet or doing their job, they think they're going to become friends with these people. And I said, it's such my pet peeve too. It's like, you know, look, Dory is like, oh my God, my high school buddy. You know, we had our moment with her, you know, she's yeah, she like, good to see, yeah, but right. you, we're not, you know, we're not going to go break bread. That means, you know, Erica's like, good to see you. Yes. Oh, you're supporting me in Vegas. Thank you. Like, we're not like, I, I don't have that, that, that it's not going to happen. And by the way, I've already done that. And then there's fallout from it. And like someone in my life that I know is recently going through this with a housewife. And I'm like, listen, you got to just come out the other side of it. Like, it's always about them. It will never be about you. They're ne it's never equal. So like, my point is, I don't want to be friends with these people. Love them all. But yeah, like you should go when you're ready to go. Like this isn't, you're not going to, you know, I think that's the mistake people make in thinking like that this person, whatever. And, you know, by the way, the person we are the best friends with, with using the term very loosely out of the whole group is Sutton. I mean, Sutton is our girl. She's the one that knows us the most. She's the one that welcomes us the most. I'm a huge Sutton fan. Um, Amazing. Anyway, She's no, I'm not mad. I don't get mad. I just thought it was funny that you were enjoying your chicken piccata and wild rice where I was like, I can't eat, not because I'm on Ozempic, but because I'm so, my eyes are glued to what Crystal and Rob are saying at the next table or whatever. That's all my, that's all. Oh, yeah, we didn't get a picture with Crystal's husband. He was there. Looked great. Very recognizable. Uh, that's the other I mean, thing I was like, great. I kept telling you, okay, now we need a picture with this one. You're like, we'll do it later. I'm like, now, girl, strike now. So that oh, was- Oh my God, you guys, he would chase me around. <laughs> <laughs> PK is right behind that curtain. Wait till P. Stay right here. I told you. Stay right here. I, I'm going to get a fucking drink and talk to Helena from the Teaching Association. I will get a, you know, we'll get PK. We're sitting right next to him. We got to get him. We got to get him. Oh my God, David, you are, this is why I'm, you know what? I love that we do. I love our this relationship because it's like the perfect amount of together. And then also I leave at the end of the night and I think, thank God, I don't have to, he's not my boss. Oh my fucking God. I would never have a moment. I would never have a moment. I would never work for you. Well, I love remember you. I adore you're Remember good at when you, you said we have such a great thing? Maybe we should start another podcast, a joint podcast oh, together. Like get say. in bed together. Like it's no. our podcast. David and Sarah, we'll just call it that. And I said, Sarah, it's not that I don't want to work with you like that. It's like I am saving you from me and for the demise Thank of you. this friendship. It won't end well. It won't end well. I am alone. So I've been fired from every job I've had. Um, well, I've, I've had, heard. I've had people that I've actually, I've had people I've hired, like my booker. I mean, we kind of both part of ways, but like my last booker, not the one I work with now. She was like, yeah, no, I'm, you can keep your, your retainer each month. It's been a great year. Like we're parting ways. I'm like, we are parting ways, but she technically said it first. So like even people that I mean are not in bed with me that I actually write a check to and pay thousands of dollars to a month say to me, yeah. I don't want your money. Thank you. I get up. Oh, terrific. Remember how we were now doing some sales together? <laughs> I'm sure this went really well. No, it's going to be fine. I just need the four things I need that I required from that email. That's it. Um, oh, No, listen, Lord. girl, just pay me and it's fine. Uh, speaking of sales, oh, we have a lot of people reaching out. Do you want to give your spiel for two seconds before we move on? Then I we think do. we should talk about uh, some other things. <clears throat> Me too, because I want to talk about Ozempic. I got a really, really nice message um, wow. about Ozempic. And Ozempic was a big topic again on at Homeless Not Toothless. Um, but really quickly, you know, we are we do these two podcast episodes together and we found we've done it for a solid year. 
we love it because you guys love it. We get so much feedback. And I always say to David, you know, when, when we resonate with you guys, when you love it and you email us and you message us and you want more, you know, we want to give you more and we're so grateful for your support. And one of the things that, you know, David and I, this is our full-time job. We do this and we try to give you free content. So we would love for you to advertise with the podcast. This benefits you. So many of you work for attorneys. You guys have your own businesses, your husbands, your partners, your significant others, your lesbian wives have businesses. You need to be advertising with us. Email the Sarah Fraser show at gmail.com. You and your products could be on this. Or if you have an association, you want to get the word out. We reach nearly a million fabulous women and LGBTQ plus people every single month. I mean, those download numbers are enormous. Have your brand on here. You can email for rates, the Sarah Fraser show at gmail.com. And David and I hopefully will be talking about you. And also, I love it because we get to introduce our audience to amazing new products and people. We do all of that. And Sarah said, you know, you should stop saying on air that you're, you know, you're in your Hamptons house, your LA house, because people are, you know, your New York City house, because people are going to think that, like, you know, and they're not going to, let me tell you something, a couple of things. First of all, Sarah, is having, she wants to have like 12 more kids. So, I mean, girlfriend at home is not too, but when I, when I walk in, because the Uber situation in LA is so bad, guys, and I don't drive. When I walk in, she's already talking to someone about like, she's meeting some Adopted. fertility specialist. So Sarah wants to have like 12 more kids. So she needs this. And whether I need it or not, guess what? It's the, it doesn't matter. I'm not coming back and turning on mic check. Is this thing on? I'm just not coming back if the money's not there. So whether I need it or not, I'm just going to exit stage left with no notice and you'll never hear from me again. So different strategies <laughs> over here, but we both need ads. Because really, if there's no ads, I swear to you, if there were no ads on this show, hand to God, I'm turning the mic off. Literally, it's going off. Thank God we have ads, but we need more because mama needs to justify sitting here. Love you all. I truly, truly, I have, I, I am like Paris Hilton and her little Hiltons. I don't got no friends. I don't want any friends. <laughs> like, I don't want anything from life. These listeners are my people. Really, that's what Paris says. I know. I, well, just I was care. hoping on homeless, you were going to find a man, but it didn't <sighs> happen. You were honey. No, you know who was actually cute? The guy, the guy running it, the guy running it, not Dr. J, but the oh. guy, he was cute. He was so handsome. Oh my God. I, I have to stalk him. him. He was a event, very uh, big event planner in LA. Handsome, cute. That's who oh I my want. God. He was cute. You should but, be together. You guys would be our couple. He was beautiful. But other than that, people do slip into my DM. Slip in. I'm single. Let's see where it goes. Um, Hamptons, New York, or LA. Oh, we have something else to announce before we get to. Um, okay, let's fight about Ozempic. Okay, let, let's let's announce yeah, one yeah. more thing. Wait, let's announce one more thing. I am officially, you know, Sarah, you decide on the spot because you went back and forth if you're interested. Um, recently on Jeff Lewis, Jeff Lewis was telling Tracy Tudor that there were a group of women from Dallas or from Texas that fly to LA and pay $2,500 in the beginning to take him to dinner. Then it went to 5,000 and now he doesn't want to do it anymore. And he said 10,000 and they said, yes. So Jeff Lewis is being paid $10,000 to go to the Bel Air hotel and have dinner 